This tutorial is all about hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are compounds containing carbon and hydrogen atoms only. These pictures show a hydrocarbon called propane which has got the formula C3H8. It can be drawn in various ways. This one is a simple drawing called a displayed formula and this one just shows a ball and stick model drawing of it. These are the parts of the syllabus that I'm just about to uh, cover. Um, do pause if you want to have a good read of that. The simplest of the alkanes is methane. Uh, it's got only got one carbon and it's got four hydrogens around it. Carbons always make four bonds and hydrogens always make one bond. Uh, Another thing is that they've got single covalent bonds and so between the two carbon atoms there's only a single bond in between uh, and that single bond's made out of a shared pair of electrons and you can see from this diagram here you wouldn't have to understand this at this stage this is more for next year but you can see that around the carbon it's got four of its own red electrons and it shares four more with four hydrogens so that you can get what's called a full shell of eight. But each of those pairs of shared electrons represents a single covalent bond. Alkanes are said to be saturated and that means that they've only got these single carbon-carbon bonds. There's a few ways that you can write methane and two in particular you need to know about. One is the molecular formula and the molecular formula just tells you the number of atoms of each type of element which are in the compound and then there's the displayed formula and this one shows you each atom and each bond separately. Methane again is just one of a whole series of compounds with similar structures called the alkanes and you can see there's another one with two carbons called ethane, three has propane and four is butane and each of these are called saturated compounds because they've got only single carbon-carbon bonds in their structure. Another set of compounds which are hydrocarbons are the alkenes. Again they contain only carbon and hydrogen atoms but this time they have a double bond between uh, two of the carbon atoms and we call these compounds unsaturated. Each of these carbon-carbon double bonds is made up of two shared pairs of electrons. So in summary, whereas the alkanes we looked at first have only got single carbon-carbon bonds and are saturated, the alkenes have got at least one double covalent bond and that consists of two shared pairs of electrons and that makes them unsaturated. So when you're looking at compounds of alkanes and alkenes you can tell the difference. Alkanes have only got single bonds whereas alkenes have got at least one double bond making them unsaturated.